previously on the Shiny Lock. Yes, we got it! Shiny Nuzzly, baby! Let's go! Okay, so assuming no crits, we're okay. Assuming no crits, we're okay. I gotta hit him one time. That's all we gotta do is hit him with a pound. He goes for sweet scent. Oh my god. That was so close, dude. <laughs> that was so close. The last thing I wanna do is lose a life on my first Pokemon right right away. Cause we need to just like keep cruising, man. Especially to like a combi, you know? It's doing a little more than I wanted. Self-destruct! No! No, 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 no! Oh, Pinocchio! Oh, you legend! You absolute legend, Pinocchio! <laughs>
thus making it less of a grind to do and and give you a better chance to get more of them and 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 breed for competitive ones like through Masuda and stuff. And I guess the deciding factor for me in this conversation is the fact that it is so easy for people to hack Pokemon into the game that you might as well make shinies easy to find because people are just going to hack them in any way. So for the people who don't want to hack like myself, I shouldn't have to spend a million hours to find shinies. But there's been times where I've spent over 100 hours to find a shiny. So it's not like they, even with the enhanced odds, it's super easy. It just comes down to luck sometimes. So uh, we're going to get a nice little uh, aerial view here of Rustboro City. And I'm a little bit nervous here because I don't know whether one, Roxanne is even going to have rock types in the first place. Two, if it's even going to be Roxanne. And three, what Pokemon she's going to have because we could run into some... Uh, uh, some problems if she's got some funky stuff, but first things first on the realist uh, I need to go into this Pokemon Mart and get some um, oh man. Oh, is he gonna give me full swipe? Oh, thanks, dude So I guess the TMs and stuff are not randomized in this which is fine um, I, I think that's totally cool But let me talk to this dude here and see what he's working with. He's gonna I need some potions Let me just buy like 10 potions. That's all I could really afford. I'll have to buy pokeballs again after I beat the gym leader so We'll do that, and I, I think I'm gonna try to take on the gym leader. Uh, it's either go north and, and take on the route up north, uh, or do the gym leader, I'm not sure, but I think this guy's gonna give me cut. Yes! I'm obviously a skilled trainer, thank you for cut. Pinocchio will appreciate that. I'm actually hoping to just not use cut and uh, not teach to Pinocchio, because I'd rather not waste the move slot. We've got fake out, we got growth, so we got some cool moves. I'll heal up, and I could go into the gym, I'm just debating, because I'm only level like 12, and I think the highest level Pokemon in the gym is 14, so it might not be my best decision to do that just yet. I think I should actually go north and try to do the little thing where I go to the Whisper Cave. There's a few trainers up there, and I don't think we trigger the cutscene yet. No, we don't. So I think I think there's an item up here too. Let's just do that really quick, and then I'll try to take on those trainers. We'll just grind through those trainers super fast, and we should be good to go um, to... Take on the gym leader. I, I I would love to do that today on this episode and kind of see how things go. But there's a Pokeball. It's a Zinc. I might be able to sell that. That could be useful. I'm not going to use it uh, per se, but it might be useful to have the Zinc just to sell. Because I'm going to need to get stock up on Pokeballs. The last thing I want to have happen, uh, if you saw the Nuzleaf capture, is, is to run out of Pokeballs and not be able to catch a Shiny. Because that is a very big waste of time. And I'd rather not do that. So I love this sign here. Uh, yeah, there's a big X on the sign. <laughs> Uh, you can't save time. So there's a Torchic here too, so a couple of the same Pokemon. Uh, remember, I'm not catching a Pokemon on this route. I'll encounter this one if I don't scare it away. But um, no, I'm not catching a Pokemon on this route. Uh, the next route I'll be catching the Shiny on would be Dooford. I plan on fishing. We'll see how it goes. I don't want a Magikarp, but I'm going to fish. We're going to cast our rod. I, I don't think I've ever seen Hoot Hoot's animation in this game, and it just came out with two feet. Did anyone else see that? Because I, I never realized that that was a thing. That was really cool. It came out with both feet, and then it like s settled into one foot. I thought that was pretty neat. So anyway, <laughs> luckily for us, Pinocchio is probably going to just body all these things here. So uh, because this is the Christmas episode, right, uh, kind of, uh, first of all, I mean no disrespect to anyone who does not celebrate Christmas. You know, I hope you have a good holiday or had a good holiday, whatever. Oh my goodness. That's uh, really scary. So um, I think nature power is my play here. I'm a little bit worried because if this thing fires off like a super duper strong takedown or something. <gasps> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pinocchio, for being awesome and having nature power. Um, so yeah, if you're celebrating something else, all the respect in the world, do your thing. I hope you have a safe holiday regardless. Uh, I celebrate Christmas, so, um, you know, we're going to be kind of my Christmas plans. We had some family over last night. I've been doing all sorts of stuff. We had like a family dinner. Uh, the other day with my fiance's family, and then uh, we did some stuff last night with some parts of my. There's a oh my god, a lombre. We did some stuff with it, some other parts of the uh, the family, and then tonight is like our main uh, Christmassy night type of thing where we're gonna be doing, um, you know, the main like our dinner and stuff like that, and, and kind of hanging out and whatever else. And my my brother uh, just came back from school, so he's here. Uh, he's he's going to school down in Georgia, so he just flew back up uh, yesterday. So he's here hanging out, so uh, he's my stepbrother, but still. Uh, we'll be chilling, and nice little crickets out here. Um, trying to think what else we're going to be doing. Uh, some little gift openings. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit on the older side, so the gift opening thing isn't really... Isn't really that uh, focused on me. It's more on the little kids, which is fine. You know, my, my niece and nephew and stuff. And uh, so we're going to do that. I think my sister's going to come over. Um... You know, to my parents' house and stuff, we're gonna have like a little... Oh my god, this might actually do like a tremendous amount. Jeez, dude. Calm down, Krigatot. This thing's problematic. These bug Pokemon are so problematic. 
Um, <laughs> so we're gonna do that, and in the morning, like, so we'll have dinner tonight, and, and it's Christmas Eve, just so you guys know. And then we'll, ooh, Razor Leaf. Do I even have a spot for this? I don't want to get rid of Pound, and I don't want to get rid of Nature Power. And I don't think I want to get rid of Growth, because I feel like Growth is really good. Ah, this is a tough decision! I think I have to keep Pound. Because Pound hits pretty hard. For It's like a neutral move. If I had like a dark move, I would be a little bit more lenient. Do I get rid of Growth right now for Razor Leaf, dude? That's a tough decision, because Nature Power is going to be put in the work. Nah, I'm not going to do it, because I think Nature Power is going to cover... It's going to cover our grass coverage. When I learn Leaf Blade, I'll learn that instead. I'm going to take my chances here. So I do have minus one special attack, so I do have to be a little bit careful here. I can nature power, but I am minus one. But he's only level seven, so you know what? Our Nuzleaf here should be should be good to go. He actually lives it. Wow. And he's got a berry. So there is a chance that the wild uh, the trainers uh, do have uh, held items as part of the randomiz randomizer. So that is a possibility. So Christmas, uh, the day that this is being uploaded, Merry Christmas, of course, is uh, is going to be awesome actually. So. We are doing like a breakfast thing in the morning at my parents' house, and they're actually going on a vacation, so they're actually leaving. I'm, I'm just rolling solo here with my, well, not solo, I have my fiance and my puppy, but we're just going to be hanging out. I'm actually taking Christmas off entirely from work, which is very, very foreign to me. I pretty much do stuff every day, but I'm actually not doing anything on Christmas. It's going to be, it's going to be nice. I'm going to build a gingerbread house. I'm going to kind of just hang out and stuff. And then the 24-hour stream is the following day. So just another friendly reminder, the 24-hour stream, if you're watching this on Christmas, is tomorrow. It's Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, the 26th, going until 10 a.m. on the 27th, that's Sunday. So hopefully if you are watching this and you want to join in on the 24-hour stream, that would be super awesome. I would uh, appreciate all the support, of course. It's going to be a, a very long journey, man. 24 hours is a very long stream. I've done two of them before. I uh, made it through both of them, but uh, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't very, very challenging. In fact, the first one I did, I actually said afterwards I don't think I'll ever do another one. The second one wasn't as bad. I was able to kind of get through it a little bit better. But it was tough, man. It's really tough. Uh, you might be sitting there saying, oh, man, I've been awake for 24 hours before. It's not that bad. But being away for 24 hours and talking for 24 hours simultaneously, uh, entertaining people, and not only just having a normal conversation like I am now, but this thing has leftovers. Are you serious? It's got leftovers. That's hilarious. Um, but not only that, it's like you got to factor in all the other stuff too. Like, I'm not only talking, but I'm getting hyped when people subscribe and donate and follow and when shinies pop up. So I'm kind of exerting more effort and, and my voice a little bit more and we're getting more into it and all this stuff. And... After doing that for, you know, 10, even do it like normally I stream for like four or five hours at a time. After doing that for like five hours, 10 hours, 15, 24 hours, you are just exhausted. You are exhausted. Actually, on the last 24 hour stream, I took a nap. Or not a nap. I, <laughs> I didn't take a nap. I took a shower, actually, after like hour 15 or something. I was just like, guys, I'm going to take a five minute break. And I just took a shower because I needed to, to kind of wake myself up. I had to take a shower. I just... Not because I like smelled bad or anything. I just needed to to wake up a little bit because I just couldn't do it. I just needed some uh, something to wake me up, some cold water or something. It's it's pretty brutal. So if you want to challenge uh, yourself, obviously only do it if you're you're healthy enough to to get through it with me. But if you want to challenge yourself to do the 24 hour with me and hang out with me the whole 24, I'll be there. If you just want to pop in and say hi, yeah, it's cool too. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy your uh, your holiday, your family, all that good stuff. And this series will continue, obviously, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and I'll keep the bonus episodes on Fridays. Like I said, I'll give you, I'll give you guys the benefit of the doubt and say you guys hit the like goal, even though I truthfully don't know, but it's all good. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give that one to you, just because I wanted to get this filmed because I, I don't want to do any work on, on Christmas. I want to try to, try to take Christmas off. But we'll see what these random encounters are. I think there's one more trainer I have to face. Whoa! Things I do not expect to run into in the wild. Anareth. Uh, I think it's time that I go take on the gym leader and I stay away from these anorites because level 14, pretty good. We got a few more trainers in the gym, so we'll be able to level up just a wee bit more. That's pretty scary, actually. Could have found anorites, armaldos, really cool stuff on the randomizer so far. Let me just go hop into the Pokemon Center. Then we're going to hop into the gym and test our luck. Randomizer, first gym. A little bit worried. We do have three lives, obviously, for Pinocchio, but my hope is to not use them, obviously, Eh, really ever but right now for sure it's just a little early to, to use them and on the last episode we had a couple pretty close calls actually uh surprisingly i i didn't i didn't anticipate it to be that that intense but it was it was the combi and the zubats and the the self-destructing pineco 
All right, so here's Roxanne. Hello. You must be a new challenger. I am Roxanne, the Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply in battle all that I've learned at the Pokemon Trainer School. If you defeat me in battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you. Until then, farewell. So we got a couple trainers here in this gym, and I'm going to go out on, on a limb here and say they're not going to have Rock-type Pokemon. I'm just going to go out on a limb here. And Snover. Why do these Pokemon... Why are they so challenging? This thing is gonna like these Pokemon all destroy Nuzly. Why is Nuzly's typing Pinocchio's typing so bad? <laughs> of course, it's got snowmore. They're only level seven though. Why are they such low level? Are they normally level seven? That seems pretty low to me. Um, there's like one of the factors of the randomizer is you can adjust the Pokemon's levels up and down by a certain percentage. But I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. I'm pretty sure I actually kept it to keep the same level. So we're gonna get Tri Attack since we're inside. Which actually is probably going to be pretty good. That's going to do a lot of damage. It'll do more than pound, so. And we can have the 20% burn chance, 20% freeze, and 20% para. So here comes a rufflet. Jeez, man. Stop with it. Level 9. This is scary, dude. I'm going to be honest. Because all these Pokemon just body me if they have, like, really good stab moves. I just have to hope that my tri attacks can do a lot. There's the burn, baby! Mmm! Catch that rufflet, because ru look how much that did! That would have been twice the damage. If it wasn't for that burn. And that also turns us into a two-hit KO, I think, after the hail. It does. Woo! Oh, my God. Pinocchio, you are a ninja and a half, my buddy. You are a ninja and a half. Look at that. That's such a cool move. I like having nature power. It's neat. I think it's it's very... You, you don't really see it too often. Porygon Z runs it. Uh, sometimes Porygon 2 will run it. And you'll see it's occasionally on Pokemon like uh, Togekiss. I guess Togetic. But they're not normal type anymore, so they don't really benefit from it as much. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. All these little dweebs here. Oh, it's Bug Catcher, Bug Maniac. He's got a Cubone. All right, I respect it. I think I could beat Cubone pretty easily. What level are you, Cubone? Cubone, bone, bone, bone. He's level 10. All right. Well, we're level 15, so I got definitely a little bit of a level advantage here. You're gonna see that as we continue with the gyms, the levels will spread out a little bit. I'm not surprised we're just a little bit over leveled here. And the reason is because we only have one Pokemon. Once I have a team of three or four and without the experience share, you're gonna see that I'm gonna be using, uh, you know, the Pokemon, they'll be spread out a little bit more and stuff. So that's pretty much how I'm expecting that to go down. So don't be discouraged if I'm just a level or two above here. I think like I said, I think Roxanne's strongest is 14 if I'm not mistaken so if she still if she sticks with that in the randomizer then that's what we'll find out so we should be should be right around where we should be should be right around where we should be I'll make you feel the power of the number two trainer at this school so who's the number one trainer if you're not it Georgia team flare Georgia she doesn't even have a sprite that was so weird team flare Georgia didn't even have like a sprite for her though unless I skipped it somehow I don't know I'm a little worried but Looks like she's got an Eevee level 10. We're just going to fake out and then try attack. Sticking with the same strategies. And we're going to get a burn, too. We're going to get that burn, right, Pinocchio? I love that animation. No burn. Here comes the sand attack. Ooh. Is, is nature power an offensive move? Uh, I guess it missed, so. Tail whip. If this is adaptability and it goes for like takedown, it, it's probably gonna hurt. Ah, we hit. It's all good. It's all good. Pinocchio's got this. Throwing these little orbs at people, dude. I love that animation. Killing it, Pinocchio. Team Flare Georgia. Look at it. She doesn't even show up. It's not even in the game. I don't know how that made sense. I wonder if like the script is supposed to pull up their their picture, but they're not programmed into this game. There's no Team Flare. I don't know. But uh, I'll throw another berry on this guy. And I think we're good to go. Let's do this, man. First gym, it is going to be Roxanne. Let's do this, girl. See if she's even got rock Pokemon. I have a feeling she's not going to. But I'm a little bit worried because Nosepass has decent stats. So just as I expected, I knew you and your Pokemon wouldn't be or would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? Ha! Roxanne. So versus Roxanne. Is it even Roxanne, though? Leader Roxanne, and she's got a man psych. Oh my god, why are these Pokemon so hard for me to beat? It's like they're all good against me. They're all good against me. This says flying moves, probably. I don't know if it's actually gonna have flying moves. I don't think it learns gust or anything. Gust or anything. Can't talk. Let's fake out. 
and start try attacking. I think pound might be better because this thing is so bulky. I think pound's probably better. I'm gonna go for the nature power because of the the status chance, but I think pound is gonna do more. Supersonic, yeah, you're annoying, man. Tyke, you are already annoying. I can already tell. You're already annoying. Don't do this to me. Come on, Pinocchio. Come on, Pinocchio. <sighs> that's not good. Bubble beam, dude. That's a powerful water move. All right. Luckily, it doesn't look like she has any flying type moves, which is nice. 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 Come on, Pinocchio. All right, Pinocchio. You're kind of disappointing me at this moment. I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't you dare go down to a bubble beam right now. I feel like I have to potion up just because of that uh, supersonic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Pinocchio. What are you doing? Come on, buddy. I need you to step it up here. I don't think she's missing a bubble beam, so we're going to have to beat this Mantike, buddy. At least it's only got bubble beam. If it had air slash or something or gust... I feel like it should be able to learn Gust. I'd be in a lot of trouble. I'm gonna snap out of confusion. Come on, dude, don't hit yourself. Pinocchio! Pinocchio, you're, you're frustrating me a little bit here, buddy. You're, you're frustrating me just a wee bit here, buddy. That was a crit. I'm, st I'm YOLOing right now, nature power. I'm still, dude, no! Oh my God! Oh my God, that was four turns of confusion. I had to YOLO, man. Get that burn. All right, don't crit me, don't crit me, don't crit me, don't crit me, don't, no, 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 no. Okay, so we can live one more bubble beam, assuming no crit. I have to potion here. I have to potion. I'm not trying to potion spam, but I have to. I just I just took a solid risk there, and we were still confused. I think I got a pound. It's gonna just keep bubble beaming. I should growth. I should growth. I have to potion again. I'm gonna pound here and see if it knocks him out. I snapped out of confusion finally, and we knock him out. Okay, so pound was the proper play. It was gonna do more than than try attack, but. I just, I just didn't want chances. We're level 16 right now, though. Give me, uh, like, a Gastrodon or something. No, not a Gastrodon. Uh, keep old... No, actually, don't do that. I don't want Torment. What does he got? Stunky! I think we're gonna lose. How do I beat Stunky? I don't think I can. I think he's gonna go for a Poison move and knock me out. I'm gonna go for an H power and just hope, guys. He's got Fury Spikes. He misses! Skillfully dodging. He's faster than us. Come on, burn, 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 burn! I think he beats me with Fury Swipes. Smoke screen. Oh my god, am I gonna get super lucky with Pinocchio right now? Don't miss, get the burn, get the para, get the para, get the para, 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 para. One more knocks him out. Don't you dare go for poison gas. He's gonna miss again! This guy's got no goggles! I missed two! Oh my god, stop it, stop it. He hits me this time. How much is he gonna do? Oh my god. Don't hit me five times. Yes. Come on, Pinocchio. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Let's go, Pinocchio. He lived. Oh, my God. I have to potion. I have to potion. Pinocchio. He's going to potion, too, isn't he? Yes. Ugh. And I'm minus one accuracy, too. I got a potion. That was... Oh, my God. This is intense. The Stunky Ben doesn't want to go down. I got a nature power again. Screech! Oh god, this is getting bad. If I start missing moves with smoke screen, we are in a, a lot of trouble. Don't miss. Let's go. Get that status, dude. It's 20%. Mmm, let's go. They were good. Hit him with a pound and call it a day. Don't miss. There it is, Pinocchio. There it is, baby. First. Oh my god, and he had after <laughs> Oh my god, that was intense, dude. That was so intense. Why was th why was that Stunky so powerful? Oh my god, if it had a poison move, it's the same thing with the Mantike. If they had a flying move, I would have been done, skis. Wow. Well, we're going to pick up our first batch here against Roxanne, the Rock-type gym leader, rocking her Stunky and her Mantike. Picking up our first batch here with the lovely Pinocchio taking it, holding it down. Pinocchio holding it down, giving us what we needed to come out with the W. And, uh, and we're doing pretty good here. So thank you, Roxanne, for such a wonderful battle. And I'm going to get the heck out of here because, you know, we, we just have to. I'm going to get rid of the encounter number as well since we have gotten through our first batch. So you don't have to see that 291 anymore. We'll eventually search again. But here we have a little cutscene. Out of the way, move it. Move it. Get out of my way. <sighs> Wait, please. Don't take those parts. Those are the Devin parts, man. 
I need those. I need the Devon parts, man. All right, we gotta go heal up here. Objective number one is to heal up. I need to go heal. I need to get the heck out of here. We gotta do that. We gotta get out of here. We gotta heal up. We gotta make things happen. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest? Yes, let's do that. All right, thank you so much. Let's uh, let's take on this dude because we gotta take on this this Devon parts guy. And I think what I need to do, guys, I need to get myself, I need to get my butt all the way to Duford today on this episode. Otherwise, we're going to have a super weird situation going on. So we're, we're going to find out what our next shiny is going to be today. That's my goal. We might go a little bit over the episode here, so hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. Might go a little over my 30-minute goal here because I want to I wanna at least find out what my next goal for hunting is so I can do that for Tuesday. Aluxio! Jiminy Cricket! What is with the power, dude? That's that's a that's a cool Pokemon, man. That is a cool Pokemon right there. Luxio, we found Anareth, all that stuff. You want to say hi? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Fiance just walked by in the middle of the Let's Play recording. Now you can say hi real quick. We're taking on uh, Swimmer Clark here. There's a vanilla. Oh my God! All these Pokemon that are so good against me. I'm not not feeling it. Hi, babe. We're, uh, we're doing our shiny lock here, the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire shiny lock. We're facing a little ice van vanilla ice cream cone here. Nice Christmas spirit. Random. It was a random ice cream cone. Random ice cream cone. What color is he shiny? Uh, pink. Well, yeah, like, it's it looks like raspberry flavored. So pink now or purple. are you going to hunt for his shiny version? No, this is a trainer. So what I'm actually uh, doing is I have to face this trainer, which has a Kranidos, of course. Uh, very scary. I have to face this trainer, and then I have to face one more trainer. And then I'm going to go find out what our next shiny hunt is going to be. And that'll be the end of the episode. Cool. So it's Christmas according uh, according to this video. Merry Christmas for everyone that celebrates. <laughs> Happy December 25th to everyone who doesn't. There you go. <laughs> so I just beat that guy. I'm going to... Oh, there's Mr. Briny. You want to do Mr. Briny's voice? Oh, what am I to do? We were just out on our walk, Pico and I, when we were attacked by an odd thug. And then a scoundrel made over my darling Pico. Where are you, Pico? I don't know why. I feel like that's what old people sound like. You disagree, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you. All right. So we got to take on this uh, Team Aqua Grunt here. And hope he doesn't have another Combi because that Combi last time was pretty problematic. There's a Surskit. One of my favorite Pokemon, actually. Nice and... Uh, Masquerain's one of, one of my favorites. It used to be my favorite Pokemon, Masquerain. But... I gotta, I gotta give the props to Motham now. I think, I think I gotta give it to Motham. I like its shiny form better. What are you? What are you coming? Get out and come get some then. Ah, you haul it all. The hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. It's just a wingle. And I think I made a getaway into this tunnel to nowhere. And you? Now you're here to battle me. Really? Yes, I'm here to battle you. Oh my goodness. Secret base trainer Grunt has a dot. Well, this is where the randomizer is actually in our favor for once. We're gonna run into a C dot. I'll take it, man. I needed a little bit of, a little bit of positivity here. I needed something that wasn't incredibly challenging to beat every time. Maybe his buy that might be annoying. He probably does. I'm gonna nature power anyway. He doesn't buy. We got power gem actually. Is in the in the nature power is such a cool move, man. I'm really digging it. I'm really digging having nature power because we get power gem in caves, which is kind of cool. We get um, energy ball in the outside normally, so it's stab. Inside we get try attack, which is actually a pretty decent move as well. I think that on the water we're gonna get hydro pump There's some usability here. So Pinocchio is at some crazy level now But we'll we'll even things out because there's not really that many trainers Before the next gym anyway, so we should be pretty good We just got to find out what that next shiny is gonna be which I'm really excited about man I'm really excited to find out what our next shiny hunt is gonna be I do want to try to fish for it, which might be challenging but I do want to fish for it because I don't want to deck snap in the cave for it. So I'm glad to see you're safe. My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Brownie and you are. Ah, so it's a drive, is it now? Well, then I sincerely thank you. If there's anything I can ever do to help you, don't hesitate. I'll be in the cottage in Petalburg Woods. So I just thought of something as well. I am going to uh, take a quick moment here to try to catch a Surskit if I could find one. The reason being is Surskit actually learns a move called Sweet Scent at a pretty low level. There's a Shinx. Um, if I could find another Surskit really quick, I'm gonna try to catch it, uh, because that Sweet Scent, I'll use it eventually later on, when I try to hoard hunt for a Shiny at some point, which could be pretty unique too, so I guess I could hoard for the next Shiny, but I think I'm gonna do the fishing next, 
But I do need to get a surf kit for that purpose. So let me see if I could quickly find one here again. We looks like we found one before. So I just thought about it now that we should we should try to find another one, right? And like I said, this episode's probably gonna run a few minutes long, so I don't think anyone's gonna complain too much about that. But let's see if this is a surf kit. If not, I'll come back later. I'll just come back and grab it later. There's a Grimer. I'll come back and like get it later. Um, it's not a big deal. I know that Surf gets here now, so I can come back and grab it. But Grimer's pretty cool too, actually. But we're gonna try to get that first encounter, the fishing encounter on Doofer with the old rod. I'm curious to see what pops up. It could be something really cool, so. Or it could be a dead Pokemon, but we'll find out. So let's uh, let's head back here. Really nothing I need to do over here. I could take on those trainers by cutting, but I'm not gonna use the, I'm not gonna teach Pinocchio the HM cut right now. Because it's just like a wasted move slot. We already like passed up on Razor Leaf. I'm not gonna teach a cut now. That would be kind of obnoxious. I can't believe there's a Luxio. Luxio and, and, and uh, Shinx in, inside the cave. Pretty funny. Um, you would think it'd be the other way around, right? Luxio hiding in the cave, maybe Shinx on the outside. Or maybe these, Lux er, these Luxios are protecting the Shinx in the cave. I think that's the only logical explanation. But we gotta go talk to uh, Mr. Devin Corporation guy here. Huh? Oh, how did you get it? You got the Devon parts. You got him back. You're a great trainer. Here's a great ball for a great trainer. A great ball for a great trainer. Well, thank you. So we have to go talk to uh, Mr. Mr. Stone here in the nice Devon Corporation building, and I have a feeling he's gonna give us a little mission here. He's gonna tell us what to do, where to go, what we need to see to continue our journey. Right? This is the top floor, the Devon Corporation. Our professor's office is on this floor. Our uh, our president's office is on this floor. And our president would like to have a word with you. Come with me. All right, what does he have for me? What would you like to say to me, my friend? Please, go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just heard now that we have quite a bit to thank you for. So you helped out my staff not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask you of a reliable trainer like you. Now, I want you to know I'm a president you can trust. I've never been so mean to uh, as asked to a favor for nothing in return. Can't read. Give me your Pokedex Plus for a minute. And he's going to upgrade our Pokedex here. And the function that I added to your Pokedex Plus is called a BuzzNav. It's an indispensable tool, and it gives you news from anywhere in the region. Hail Helix right behind him. Now he's going to give me a letter to give to his son, Steven, who is uh, doing some serious research, of course. And we got to go find Mr. Briny, hop on his boat, and get our way to Duford. So let's get the heck out of here. We have so many things to do. I'm going to be sprinting my whole way there, because I want to find out what that next Pokemon we're going to be going for is. And I think you guys are excited, too. I really want to know what it's going to be, and if it's a Magikarp, I'm going to be very disappointed. But I just want to find out what it's going to be, because it could be anything, man. It could be really anything. Oh, there's there's May. There's May. What's up, May? Oh, hey, Drive. Have you been catching lots of Pokemon? Oh, my God. I ran out of Pokeballs in Petalburg Woods. You should go see Mr. Briner. He's a seafarer. All right. Let's do it, man. We're going to run all the way down. We're going all the way down. All the way downtown to Mr. Briner's house. I wonder what we're going to run into. I think... If I could pick any Pokemon to add to the team right now, I would love to get a water Pokemon that's not Magikarp, just because I think we're gonna need a water Pokemon at some point anyway, and it would be really nice. So in terms of water type shiny, Staryu would be really, really epic. I'd be cool with Staryu. Um, that would be a cool one. Quillfish would be super cool. I love Quillfish. So we'll see, let's let's hop on this boat, man. Let's enjoy this boat ride with Mr. Briny. Let's do this, man. Where you at, buddy? Where you at, old man? There you are, talk to me. Oh. Oh, that's been late, that Pico. Oh, if it ain't Adra, the one who shaved my Pico. You want to sail with me? Let's go to Duford. Head to Duford. Let's hop on this this uh, nice little ship here. And we're going to take our journey all the way to Duford from right outside of Petalburg. And I get to be the front of the ship. I get to just chill in there. There's Pico flying by. I wish Pico had something that differentiated itself from other Wingles, like a scarf or something. But, hey, you know, whatever. So Pico's flying with us. Doesn't even use a Pokeball. This thing just flies with us. And there we are, Land Ho. On Dufer. Thank you, Mr. Briny. You're such a nice guy, dude. I appreciate it. So Brawly is our gym leader we have to face. But we need to grab this old rod. And we need to do it quickly. Hey. Hey, old rod. Yes. Give me the old rod. So here we go. We are going to fish on Duford, And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. I hope you guys are ready for this. I'm just trying to think. Should I fish on Duford or should I fish right around the corner here on the next route? It doesn't really matter to me. Route 107, it's a Pokeball over here. I bet you didn't even know there was a route over here. I think this little spot right here is probably the best spot. It's surrounded on, on by a few different sides. 
So you want the spot to be surrounded by water. Or surrounded by land, if possible. So this will be as good as we can do it. I'm going to try my best to do this without any sort of help with, uh, with fishing stuff. So let's see what we got here. All right. What is it going to be? The next shiny we're going to be hunting for is... Oh my goodness! Why is it a throw? I don't know how I feel about this. I feel concerned for myself here. That I'm not gonna one be able to catch this thing. He's got inner focus. He's gonna he's gonna kill Pinocchio right now. I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna pound and see what happens. And hope he doesn't have any fighting type moves at level 10. He only has like tackle. He's got bind. Okay, so that's a good that's a good start. Oh my god, are we really gonna hunt for a throw right now? I guess it doesn't matter if I catch it. So you know what? I don't have to catch the throw. I just have to find a shiny throw because I'm not deck snapping. So it's okay. So we know I have to get throw. I'm not catching it because it's going to it's gonna destroy me. Uh, well, actually, technically, I guess in a nuzzle, like, you're supposed to catch it. I'll try to catch it, I guess. He's going to keep... He's going to bind. Bide. Bind and bide. Oh, my God. Why are you so powerful? I, I need to just catch this thing and hope he doesn't somehow beat me. I, I think that's what he just did. He did like... All right, let's throw a Pokeball. I mean, he's at like half health. I don't think it's going to catch him. But that's a very interesting Pokemon to go for. Throw. I, I, things I was not expecting to run into. Um, did I really just catch him? All right. Well, then we have our next goal. We are going to be going for throw through the fishing mechanic now. Because I am fishing, I don't know what other Pokemon I could run into here. So there's a chance I fish up a shiny that's not throw, at which point we'll discuss in the next episode. But I'm going to take my, uh, my, my stuff here. I'm going to do some shiny hunting. Off screen like we did last time, we're going to try to find our second shiny, which is a shiny throw, which is our newest objective. And what does throw know at that level, level 10? It's going to know bind, leer, bide, and focus energy. And this one's actually a brave nature, so pretty cool. So let's do it, man. That's going to be that, guys. That's going to be the end of this episode. Be sure to show your love on that like button down below if you have not done so yet. 1,000 likes would be absolutely marvelous. And thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday again. My name is Dan. I'll just go by A-Drop, and I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.